and welcome to a quick unpacking showcase of a Loki sample. Um, I will be using Ollie this time and there's the file. I don't have an extension on this file so I don't click it accidentally. I don't want my file to be encrypted or anything. Um, I doubt that it still works so though. It's a bit of an older Loki sample. Uh, it would probably not work anymore. Alright, so we want to un unpack this file and the idea is that the unpacking stuff needs to allocate memory to uh, unpack the packed stuff too. And because of that we can probably just say a breakpoint virtual alloc break and we meanwhile just press F9 to run the file. Alright, um, you can see that we are in the virtual alloc um, breakpoint and the stack window shows uh, the arguments that were passed to this function. So um, we have the allocation type, um, the protection, and we also have this size. The size is very interesting in this case because if it's too small it's not interesting for us. And we will just move on. That's also a bit too small. Press again. Alright, now we are at a bigger size. That looks good. And we are in the kernel 32 module because that's the virtual alloc function. We want to get back to where this was called. So you just press ALT and then F9 and you will get back to the call. Here's the call and here we are right below. Now we uh, the, the return value, value of the call is in EAX and this is our memory area that was allocated. So we can follow and dump. So if you try this it will probably be another value so because it depends on the machine. Okay, um, the memory area is zeroed out so something can be written to it. And to see what will be written to it, we will just step a bit um, with F8 until something happened. In this case, this call did something to the memory area, but uh, it does not look useful for us. So we will now press F9 to run to the next virtual alloc. Here it is. And Press again ALT F9 to get back to the caller. Here was the calling function. And see the dump in the return value. Again, it's a zeroed out dump. And we will be stepping until they do something to that dump. Watch out now. This is the RTL decompressed buffer call, which will which is commonly used by packers and will now probably unpack something. Let's see. And there it is. There's the DOS stop message. This program cannot be run in DOS mode. And the MZ uh, header and the PE signature, MZ signature, PE signature. All right, we can now dump this. And um, we'll be using the memory map select the right area. In my case it's this one. Dump the memory area and unpacked Loki to save. Now let's take a look at this. Is it really Loki? Lucky has typically some strings in it, like shadow copy volume deletion, um, 
the ransom notes of Kittery. Um, ah, there it is. There's the extension uh, for the files that get encrypted. Here we have the name of the ransom node. This is service host exe. Um, Loki, or this Loki sample, the copies itself into temp service source.exe. So this is just the name of its copy. <coughs> and here we have the deletion of the shadow volume copies. Uh, run run entry because if it's not finished and you uh, shut off the computer it still wants to finish its encryption process so it sets this run entry temporarily to do that again the ransom net names and some uh, some locations it looks for files I guess or that are excluded I'm not sure and here um, are the file extensions that it filters on some more. <laughs> Even a wallet dot that. Uh, too bad if you have to pay with Bitcoin. <laughs> okay, um, that's it for today. was a quick video, but I hope you liked it. And I want to thank Trevor for pointing out that virtual alloc um, method to get very quick to the um, unpacking of this sample. Alright, Bye-bye.